Good evening, Luis. Good evening, Hazel. Thank you for being on time. Happy Monday. Good evening, everyone. Hi, good evening. How was your day? Did you have a good Monday? Yeah, was yeah, very good. Very good. With a lot of work or it relaxed? A relaxed Monday. A lot of, lot of work. A lot of work. A lot of work. <laughs> okay. A regular Monday then. <laughs> yeah. Good. And well, I, I think that you completed the platform, right? You have finished all your exercises. I guess so. Okay, so today, as you know, we're going to finish module. That great news. Um, see, I have, let me check. Okay, I have Aymara, good morning, good evening. Welcome, Carlos Humberto, Elizabeth. Uh, hey, Selen Luis, we're going to start uh, we were practicing the connector in the last class, right? So we're going to continue with this topic. That's our last review. And also today we're going to complete the survey. La encuesta de satisfacción con la que ya la mayoría están familiarizados. La vamos a completar el día de hoy. And uh, to start with, I have shared uh, material with you that we will be working with. Um, I share this. I'm going to start sharing the screen. In the meantime, we're going to complete the survey at 8.30. So I'm going to start sharing. But give me one second. Okay, I'm, I'm sharing the screen. That's the document I already sent to the WhatsApp group, we're going to continue practicing and discussing the uses of uh, linking words as we were studying the, the last Friday, um, reviewing this topic. So linking words and phrases are used to show the relationship with, with between ideas and they can use to join two or more sentences or clauses. A clause is a group of words which contains a subject and a verb. So basically we're speaking about a sentence. That's as simple as that. Uh, the linking word uh, phrases can be used to add ideas together, to contrast them, or to show the reason for something. As we know, they are, um, they are used for different purposes. It will depend. Uh, adding ideas and information. For example, we have also. Also is used to give more information or ideas. It can be put at the beginning of the sentence or between the subject and the verb. Let's see the two examples that we have there. A volunteer to read the examples using also. Me teacher. Thank you. Uh, this is uh, 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 the day. We are. Okay. Here, this, we are these the two examples. We are unable to repair this watch. Also, this is the fourth time. Uh, for time this has happened. I want to be an, an astronaut. I also want to be a biologist. Biologist. What shall I do? What should I do? Excellent. Thank you so much, Aymara. As you can see, um, we have uh, two examples using also. Also is used to add information, okay? That is a connector and we use it specifically to add information. Uh, first example, we said unable to repair the watch and also 
It is the fourth time that it's happened. So it's adding more information about the problem with the watch. And um, in the second example, it says, I want to be an astronaut. Also, I want to be a biologist. So it's adding information to one idea. So then we have besides. And you can also say besides this, besides that. And this is usually placed at the beginning of a sentence. It is used to make an addition point, an additional point. Sorry, I want to make this small. An additional point. Mm -hmm. So it is, uh, in this case, um, we have also besides used to add information. This is usually placed at the beginning of the sentence, remember? used to make an additional point. For example, who wants to read the examples? Thank you. Thank you, Luis. COVID congestion is a problem in my city. Besides this, the trains are very expensive. I can't afford to go to the concert Besides, I don't really like classic music. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now, we also have as well as. As well as this, as well as that. This is very similar to besides this or besides that. It is usually placed at the beginning of a sentence. It is used to make an additional point. Es eh, como decir así como también, además, o sea, dos, estas dos que estamos viendo es para agregar información. And this is very similar to besides this, besides that, y usually Gracias. place at the beginning, so they are quite similar. Um, who wants to read the examples using as well as? <laughs> Pero aquí bien, todo lo mismo, bien raro. Adiós. Volunteers to read the examples using as well. Okay, we have my boss is the only other person who sells the watches. As well as that, he might blame me. We went to the park today, as well as that, we did, we did some shopping. Those are two examples, and you can also have more information about this, visiting this uh, website. And then we have the connectors to show reason. To show reason, we can use as and since. As and since are used to introduce the reason for something. They are similar in meaning to because. As, example using as, as the wash you have returned is not genuine, we are unable to repair it. Or um, we are unable to repair the watch you have returned as it is not genuine. So you say as is very similar to because and as since is the same thing. Since the watch you have returned is not genuine, we are unable to repair it. We are unable to repair the watch you have returned since it is not genuine. So you see, to show reason, we can use as and since, and they have the same meaning as because. Now, Connectors that we can use showing results. We have consequently and as a consequence, and they are linking words which link reasons with results. They are common in formal writing. Consequently, this is the fourth time that has happened and consequently we can't accept further watches from you. Okay, this is the fourth time that this has happened. Consequently, we cannot accept 
quarter watches from you. As you can see, one we have uh, the the like a cause and consequence, right? And as a consequence is another to show result. This is another option that we can, as you see, is basically the same sentence with uh, two different options. The connection is the same meaning. This is the point time that it has happened. And as a consequence, we can't accept further watches from you. Okay. And then we have the ones that are for contrasting ideas. We can also use connectors to contrast ideas, opposite ideas. And we have despite and in spite of. These are followed by nouns or germs, verb plus ing. That's when we mention the word germ, we are referring to the verb with ing form. They are not followed by clauses like subject plus verb. And we have the example, despite losing the match, the team were happy with their effort. We can also use in a spite, in spite of the lost match, the team were happy. Meaning that they lost the match, but they, they were happy anyway. So like it is contrasting, you lose, but you're happy. You see, it's a, like a contrasting idea. And they and the idea is putting it together using despite or in spite of. If you want to use a clause with despite and in spite of, you need to add the fact that. For example, despite the fact that they lost the match, the team were still happy. In spite of the fact that they lost, the team were still happy. Uh, while and whereas are used to contrast two opposite ideas in one sentence. This word can be placed at the beginning of the sentence or in the middle. While in London, it is exciting, it's much too busy. Life in the city is fast, whereas life in the country is slow. So it's these two opposite ideas. And we have the uh, part here of vocabulary, like for example, genuine, I know that you know this word, <laughs> real and authentic, not fake or forgery. Further, watches, meaning more watches and curious if you want to um, know more about something. And uh, I think that we still have time to practice this topic. We have a quiz. Let me stop sharing for a while. I see that we're 17 in the meeting. Remember that today is the last class. This is uh, just like a review. And uh, we will be uh, having the survey at 8.30. A las ocho y media vamos a estar tomando la a satisfaction survey, como la mayoría ya están familiarizados con eh, el proceso. Recuerden que es asistencia, plataforma y la encuesta. Son los requisitos a cumplir para optar por el certificado de, um, de su módulo. One second. Uh, the material that we were reading, I have shared it to the WhatsApp group. And with this, we are going to practice this short quiz. Can you see my screen now? Okay, you have the material. Okay, thank you so much for confirming. You have uh, been given the material, so you can take this short quiz. I'm going to be sharing the screen. You can read back the material in case that you need to check again and complete. For each of the six questions, you have to choose one correct answer. Okay, I'm sharing the sixth question. 
you will choose the correct answer. You can do it in your notebook. And then we're going to check.
Have you finished? Not yet, sir. Not yet. Okay. Yeah, a no couple problem. of minutes, please. Okay. Not a problem. Bye. Adios, cuídese. Okay, we're going to stop for a little while. Vamos a esperar un momentito para iniciar la encuesta de satisfacción. Eh, Todas recibieron un link para ingresar a la, a la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿verdad? Eso es. Ok. Entonces ingresamos al link y aquí en el chat de la meeting les estoy compartiendo los datos del de curso, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, a... déjenme compartir la pantalla. Cuando ustedes ingresen a la encuesta de satisfacción se mira así, ¿ok? Ahí pues vamos a ir... Eh, en el número uno vamos a ingresar el nombre completo de la orden, el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y plecas, así como, como está en el mensaje que se los mandé ahorita en el chat de la meeting. Les recomiendo que copien y peguen para que no, no se nos vaya a ir algún error de dedo por ahí con la orden de inicio. Es lo segundo que les aparece, el nombre de su empresa, pues ahí cada quien lo va a poner según se inscribieron en Insafor. Y lo segundo es la orden de inicio, ahí pues les recomiendo que copien y peguen para evitar algún error eh, de dedo, ¿verdad? Luego el nombre completo suyo, así como tal cual está en el DUI, como se inscribieron, ¿verdad? En el 3. Sería el correo electrónico, eh, igual el mismo que proporcionaron para inscribirse, ya haya sido el personal o el que ocupen en el trabajo, ese mismo correo electrónico van a poner ahí en el número 3. Aquí el número de celular, igual el teléfono que han dado para contacto. Sexo, pues ahí seleccionamos si es femenino o masculino, ahí pueden hacer clic. Departamento de residencia, aquí les aparece un menú, drop down menú, ahí lo pues seleccionan el departamento. En el municipio, en el, en el número 7, vamos a tener que escribirlo, ¿verdad? ¿Qué municipio pertenecemos? ¿La empresa donde trabaja o razón social? Esa pues cada quien la tiene en, en su correo, ¿verdad? Si, si se les mandó una parte, es así como aparece el nombre de su empresa, de ahí lo pueden copiar. Eh, nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. Aquí vamos a irnos al menú y a seleccionar inglés corporativo Regal International SADCB. Ese es el que van a seleccionar. Nombre del curso, 
También ahí está en el WhatsApp, es inglés intermedio módulo 2. Lo pueden copiar y pegar también. Luego en este apartado 11 van a valorar estos aspectos relacionados al curso. ¿Cómo considera el tiempo empleado para el desarrollo del curso? Ahí ustedes van a seleccionar. Vamos de insuficiente, de eficiencia, aceptable, bueno o excelente. ¿Qué opina del contenido y la estructura? Ahí pues ustedes igual valoran. Y la última, ¿qué opina de las opciones y herramientas tecnológicas utilizadas en el curso? La fecha de inicio. Aquí la van a seleccionar en el calendario. Van a buscar... La inicio 19 de junio, ahí la seleccionan y luego finalizamos el día de ahora. Pues igual, vea, vamos al calendario y ahí seleccionan la fecha de ahora. Nivel de satisfacción en el, IT, en el número 14, recuerden que este es si usted pone insatisfecho, se da por entendido que usted no continuaría en el siguiente módulo. Así que pues ahí es usted decide si nivel de satisfacción, si es satisfecho o insatisfecho, entendiéndose que ya no va a seguir el próximo módulo. Eh, otros cursos que sean de su interés, ahí puede poner si le interesa Excel, marketing digital o algo otro curso de, que sea de su interés, ahí lo escribe. Comentarios, pues ahí algo pues algún comentario que usted desee compartir. Al darle a enviar, tienen que tomar una captura, recuerden, y eh, poner la captura en el WhatsApp del grupo con su nombre completo para que pues quede ya el registro de que usted ya cumplió con la encuesta de satisfacción. Eh, si tienen duda en cualquiera de los eh, numerales, pues aquí vamos a estar para ayudarles. Hola, teacher. Ajá. Uh, yo necesito que me mande el nombre de la razón social de, la, de mi trabajo, la, a un mensaje privado, porfa, que siempre, siempre mandan esa información, pero no ponen el nombre de, de la empresa. Antes uh -huh. lo hacía, no sé por qué, ahora ya no. Ok, se lo voy a buscar ahorita como está en la lista y pues los demás, eh, pues igual si tienen algún. Igual duda. lo mismo, lo mismo porque fíjense que a mí yo no estoy muy segura cómo es que sale el nombre porque cambiaron hace poco el nombre de la empresa. Y sí, teacher, que, ay, disculpe la molestadera, pero es mejor copiar exactamente como ustedes lo quieren porque. Sí. Antes sí lo mandaban la información completa. Uh -huh. Lo ¿no? Ahí se lo mandé a Magdi, así como me aparece aquí. Y Aymara también me dijo, ¿verdad? Sí, por favor. Thank you so much, teacher. Ok. Ahí está el suyo, Aymar, así como me aparece, es como pues se inscribió en este módulo. Bueno, nada que ver. <ríe> Gracias.
una consulta y el número ese de, de orden, ¿de dónde lo saco? No entendí. El orden se los puse al inicio del chat, orden de inicio, aquí se ah. las voy a volver a copiar. Pueden copiar y pegar, esa es la orden de inicio. Hoy, pero no. Ah, vaya, gracias. El enlace de la encuesta se los acabo de mandar a todos ahorita porque hay un par que me lo están solicitando. Ahí está en el chat de la miren. Ese sería el enlace para tomar la encuesta y cualquier pregunta o duda con algún numeral pueden hacernos no saber. Ahí les volví a mandar en la orden de inicio, este es del número 2. Ahí pueden copiar y pegar. En nombre del curso eh, le pongo módulo 2. Intermedio módulo 2. Sí, ahorita se lo falta compartir. Inglés intermedio módulo 2.
Thank you. I think we're just missing three. Creo que solo nos faltan tres que manden su captura. De haber finalizado la encuesta de satisfacción. Únicamente faltan tres personas que manden su encuesta y mientras ellos terminan, los demás voy a seguirles compartiendo para que eh, continuemos con el ejercicio tipo quiz.
Finnish teacher. Okay, we're going to check answers. So what do you have in the number one? Uh, Seria, also. Also. Letter C, also. If you have C, yes, it's correct. Letter C. Because here we have the answers. Yes. In number one, also is correct. Also goes between the subject and the verb. Mm -hmm. uh, number two. I think letter, uh, letter A. A. Mm. Letter D. Letter D. B as in boy. No, no. D. D as in then. dad. David. Yes, the correct is D. Despite. Let's see the Y. Despite is correct because this linking phrase is followed by the gerund. Uh huh. We use despite with gerund. Despite missing. Yes. Number three. Letter C. Letter B. B as in boy? Number three. Yes, the number three. <laughs> it's weird, where is mm -hmm. So you say it's B as in boy. That is correct. Number three, the answer, the correct answer is B. You will see here, whereas is correct. This contrasts two opposite ideas. And uh, number four. Letter B. Letter C. Hmm. Yeah, because um. So you say letter C. Mm -hmm. Letter C is the correct answer since as gives the reason why something happens. Aquí nos está dando la razón por la cual sucede eso. As you haven't done your homework, you have to stay late at school. What about number five? Number five. No, letter B. B as in boy. Consequently. 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 It is correct. <laughs> Number five. Consequently introduces a result. Consequently, es lo que se utiliza para introducir cual, eh, un resultado de algo. Eh, finally, number six. Leather. Leather. D. D, besides this or as a consequence? Um, besides this, the camera is a scratch. Besides this, a battery is missing as a consequence of like a refund. That is correct, letter D. Besides this, um, missing the, the missing battery is an extra idea 
and wanting a refund is a result. Okay. Hmm? That's correct, the letter D. Okay, um, and here we have this. If we want more quizzes on this topic, we can go here and, well, not found. Avesis lost link not stand available, but tenemos otro ejercicio. No sé si quisieran el documento del quiz. Se los puedo compartir en el WhatsApp. In a while. Now we're going to check attendance. We're missing the attendance. Control. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Abigail Mejía Mendoza. Thank you. Abigail Mejía Mendoza. Abigail Mejía Mendoza. Abigail Mejía Mendoza. Present. Mejía Mendoza. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Present teacher. Thank you. Tessia Noemi Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present teacher. Thank you. Gerson Alexis Funes. Present teacher. Thank you. Gertrudis Aymara Paquerano. Present teacher. Thank you. Hazel Panesa Menjiva. Hazel Panesa Menjiva. Yulisa Yamilet Villalta. Yulisa Yamilet Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya. Yes, and teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Thank you. Magdiela Saú García. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexander. Present teacher. Samuel Antonio. Santos Cristina. <coughs> Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Victor Noé. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, as you can see, there is a lot to do with this topic. And we can have a, let me check here. Okay, Elizabeth. Yeah, Elizabeth, I check your attendance. Aquí vi que escribí en el chat de las únicas que no escuché respuesta fue Abigail, eh, no, Hazel, que no sé si está o no está pero conectada, aparece, y Yulisa. Hazel y Yulisa nada más, no escuché ni tengo el chat. De los demás y todo ya. Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay, I'll share another exercise.
Okay, there is another exercise on linking words. I would like to have a volunteer for this one. We have studied plenty of them. Yes, son muchas linking words con diferentes um, usos. So, volunteer. She hasn't tidied her bedroom yet. She promised me she would. If? If as a, like a condition, like for conditional. So I don't think if can be a good option. He hasn't tied her bedroom yet. She promised me she would. Thanks. Since? Since? Since is similar to because. Those? Uh, okay. So, yes. So, is like, uh, como decir, aunque. So, uh -huh, era como decir, ella no ha ordenado su cuarto aún, aunque prometió que lo haría. So, yes, and that one was done. What do you think here? Like? Like. Yes. Like is like a, to introduce like a comparison. Estamos comparando. Also, es como decir, aunque no tendría sentido poner ahí although y tampoco but, que es como but, es como para un contraste. So, yes, I think like you're correct. Nice. Until. Until. Mm. Unless. 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 Uh -huh. Unless. Seems like yes. They say they'll be here by 12. Unless the traffic is slow. Mm -hmm. A menos que el tráfico esté lento. He said he enjoyed the meal I cooked, but I wasn't sure he really did. Weather. Yes, excellent weather. 100%. Good. <laughs> okay, that was kind of simple, and I have more exercise like that. So, but right now, let's go compartir el documento del anterior porque si no, yeah, aquí me están recordando. Let's <laughs> get uh, quiz. Ahí está el documento del que hicimos anteriormente. 
Ya salimos de ese compromiso. And only I'm going to share now. Ok, uh, ya les compartí el documento del quiz uh, primero que hicimos, que era un ejercicio tipo quiz. Y también otro que se los voy a compartir ahorita. Así no, eh, este tema sí que tiene muchos, muchos, como ven, um, mucho material. So there are linking words. It's, oh, it's a wide variety of linking words. So to join sentences and paragraphs to make uh, writing easier to flow, to use, um, okay, so, uh, and this help us on how to use connectives for comparison to make contrast to develop the story of argument and show time passing. In here, you'll see that there is a, a video, okay? You can watch that video and the video has a transcript if you want to, to have the transcript, here it is. So you just need to click here. If you think it is too difficult, but just listen it. And then we have a couple of exercises here. And linking and other your sentence and paragraphs is called cohesion. Without cohesion, your reading will be disjointed and it will not be clear how the different ideas are related, making the reading confused. A piece of writing with good cohesion will be easy for the reader to follow as the connection between different ideas will be clear and then sentence paragraph will flow elegantly. Let's see, is this cohesion? Well, we can do this later. Linking words for comparison. Eh, ya vimos una por ahí de comparison que era like, but there are more. I must eh, linking words para hacer comparaciones. When you want to compare ideas in your writing, it is important to use the right type of linking words. Without words for comparisons, it is difficult to show the similarities between ideas. Exercise is an easy way to stay healthy. Eating a balanced diet it is important. Sleeping well will help you feel good. It is important to relax so that you don't feel stressed. If we add words and phrases for comparison, we can create a better sentence of connection between the ideas. Eh, vean cómo se ve diferente. Aquí no tenemos ningún connector. Solo son ideas como oración, oración, oración. Entonces es como que igual se puede uno perder y no suena tan bien. Eso es too basic. Es demasiado basic. Entonces, ven aquí, exercise is an easy way to stay healthy. Just as eating a balanced diet, it is, is important. Similarly, sleeping well will help you feel good. And it is also important to relax so that you don't feel stressed. Entonces, le añade, le añade mucho más eh, fluidez, coherencia y elegancia el usar conectores en nuestros eh, párrafos o cuando estamos hablando. Some linking words and phrases for comparison include similarly, also, likewise, like, just as. Create a comparison.
What do you think? Will someone want to complete this one? Pick the correct word to create a comparison in this sentence. Also? Also. Also, that is correct. Two. 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 Hmm. Are you sure it's two? Hmm. It's correct. Us. Just as that is correct. They enjoy running just as she enjoys cycling. Okay, now let us take a look to the linking words to make contrast. Sometimes you write in, in your writing, you might want to show contrast between things that are different. It is difficult to show this clearly by just stating the difference. You see here, my dog really likes company. My cat prefers to be left alone. Sometimes my cat will let me pick her up. If we add a linking word for contrast, we can emphasize the differences. My dog really likes company, unlike my cat who prefers to be left alone. However, sometimes my cat will let me pick her up. Some linking words for contrast include however, conversely, unlike, yet, whereas, and, but. Let's see. Which of us, which five of these words who you use to show contrast between uh, different ideas? What do you think? We have firstly, unlike, despite, similarly, later, yet, additionally, even though, just as, furthermore, and conversely. Uh, additionally, is one additionally for contrast. Uh -huh. No, <laughs> there are five. Son cinco para contrast para ideas diferentes. Mm. Ideas opuestas. Ok. 
Aquí tenemos algunas. Aquí tenemos que encontrar cinco. Un like. Un like. Ready? Which ones do you have? Are you still checking? Okay, can you? Uh, it's five, so I might have said unlike. Mm -hmm. uh, additionally, even so. Additionally, no, me dijo. So, additionally, no. Even so, just as. Mm, just as también es como para hacer comparación o para agregar información. But, um, uh -huh. Let's see. To make contrast, you could use online. 
क्या है यहाँ मंदिर जहा डिस्पाइट येट इवन द कमोमेंशियन ऑफ डॉक्टर मारियो एंड कंपर्टली हम्म दो सार्ट फ्रॉम कंट्रास्ट नाउ लिंकिंग वर्ड्स टू शो डेवलपमेंट When you are writing a story or an argument, it is really important to show how the story or argument develops so that the reader can follow it. Without linking words, it is difficult to follow an argument or to see the connections between the ideas. Pizza is the best food in the world. This is really cheesy. You can eat it hot or cold. There are hundreds of different toppings. Pizza is better than Uh, any other food. If linking words are other, it is easy to show the connections between the ideas and build up the arguments. As you can see, this is the same paragraph, but um, with the connector showing development of the ideas. We have pizza is the best food in the world. Firstly, it is really cheesy. Secondly, You can eat it hard or cold. Also, there are hundreds of different topics because of this, pizza is better than any other food. Some useful linking words to move a story or an argument on is firstly, secondly, additionally, moreover, furthermore, and also. Where should these connectives go in this paragraph to develop this argument? Aquí, similar que en este, es de agregar los conectores para darle la, eh, como la secuencia, el orden, cómo, eh, cómo va desarrollándose la idea. Es más que todo en eso, cómo irla proveyendo de un orden. Y aquí nos da el parafito. Y tenemos los cuatro, furthermore, additionally, also, and firstly. Similar que en este párrafo, tendríamos que ir agregándole para darle el, el, el development, del desarrollo, es como la secuencia, un orden. En ese orden, en esa secuencia, se agregan las ideas también para lo que nos sirve also, additionally, furthermore. Pueden escribir el parrafito en el cuaderno y agregar los conectores que tenemos aquí arriba y luego chequeamos la respuesta.
finished. Okay, so why do you think? How does it go? Como va el párrafo? Can you read it? I'm sure about using cars where possible. Firstly, car emissions are bad for the environment. Additionally, we walk it or cycle, we walk healthier. Furthermore, fewer people use the car. The roads were less busy and so the air will be clean. Okay, sounds pretty good. And the rest of you, is there any other volunteer? No? Okay, let me show you the answer. Mm-hmm, sounds like you were correct. You should avoid using cars where possible. Firstly, car emissions are bad for the environment. Additionally, if we walked or cycle, we would be healthier. Furthermore, if fewer people use car, the road would be less busy. Also, the air would be cleaner. You did an excellent job, Mario. Thank you so much. Now, the next part are the linking words to, to show the passage of time. Sometimes in the writing, it is important to show the reader that the time has passed. This is useful when writing about past events or when writing stories. Without linking words, it is hard to see when the events in the story are happening. So the story loses some of its impact. We have the example without linking words. It says, Sandrine had been practicing tennis. She showed everyone how much she had improved. Her PE teacher asked her to join the school tennis team. She played her first match and won. If linking words are added to, to show the passage of time, the story is improved and the events in the story feel more connected. Let's see now the same example, but with linking words. Sandrine has been practicing tennis throughout the summer holidays. When she got back to school, she showed every, everyone how much she had improved. Later that day, her PE teacher asked her to join the school tennis team. The next week, she played her first match and won. Some useful linking words and phrases to show the passage of time is later, the next day, after a while, what I hear, meanwhile, at first, but then, and now. Does this connective show the passage of time? Hmm. Let's just start. What do you think? Does this connective show the passage of time? Furthermore? Yes. Yes? Wrong. Remember that furthermore yes. is to add information. Uh huh. <laughs> Next. Later on shows the passage of time. Later on. Yes. That is correct. Secondly, 
shows passage of time. No. Yes. Pass. <laughs> no. After a while. Yeah. Yes. Yes, correct. Yesterday? Yes. Yes. Correct. Hmm. Don't give up. <laughs> Very close. It's a, you can play it again or you can take the quiz. You can do it in group. Lo pueden hacer en grupo si quieren y pueden ir tomando turnos para contestarlas. Este es el último enlace que les mandé por si quieren regresar al principio de los, uh, para que repasen las que son. Eh, eh, aquí están las, lo, todo lo que hemos leído para comparison, eh, to make contrast, to show development, etc. Eh, para que les sea más entretenido, lo pueden hacer en grupos. El último test. Eh, les mandé el link al grupo de WhatsApp eh, de lo que estamos viendo acá. Entonces pueden unirse en Breakout Room para que compartan lo que recuerdan y si no, pues pueden leerlo juntos nuevamente.
Okay, it was a very short quiz. I hope that you have finished it and it was about the whole thing that we read in this part. And the last thing or the last exercise that I have for you tonight is about the passive to see if you remember or if you are able to identify active or passive a voice. Let me share a screen with you. And this is just to identify. Can you identify active and passive sentences? Let's put them in the correct column. Do we have a volunteer? Hmm. Passive. Uh, my dad gave me a bike when I was a child. Is it active or passive? For me, passive. Passive? Hmm. What do you remember about the passive and the active? It's active. Mm -hmm. Is there a confusion still? Yes, Mario? Tendría que ser aplicada la objeto si fuera pasiva. Ajá, si fuera pasiva, tendría que ir primero el objeto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Cristina dice active. And yes, it is active. Ahí tiene el sujeto al principio. My dad gave me, que sería el sujeto, sería yo, a bike when I was a child. Si fuera passive, tendría que ir el objeto al principio y decir I was given a bike by my dad. When I was a child, I've been hit by a stone. What do you think? Passive. Passive? Active. Active. You think it's active? Okay. Mm. And this is passive. Active. Mm -hmm. Correct. Active. Passive. Active. Active. And the last one. Passive. Passive. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Very well done. Identifying the sentences into active or passive. Would you like for me to share this link? Aquí pueden continuar si quieren seguir repasando la voz pasiva. Aquí está todo lo que eh, pues también ya habíamos visto que existen diferentes tiempos, etcétera. 
Y este tiene algunos ejercicios interactivos. Eh, aquí pueden darle Next Activity y etcétera. No sé si gustarían que les comparta este enlace también. Por favor, teacher. Please, teacher. Porque se ve interesante. Sí, yes, y ahí le pueden, pueden explorar y ahí tienen más ejercicios sobre este mismo tema y pues bastante bien lo identificaron, aún recuerdan estuvimos viendo y pues ahí van a tener la vacación van a tener uh, bueno, ahorita ya empezaría su, su break y es importante que se mantengan activos, ahorita ya les envié el link eh, no se desacostumbren, ¿verdad? Siempre practiquen. No van a estarse levantados las, do, las dos horas de clase, pero por lo menos siempre a las ocho eh, pueden irse a estos links, a este material, a ver eh, de practicar algo. Unos cinco minutitos para que no se les quite la costumbre de hacer algo en inglés a las ocho. <risa> si no, cuando regresemos ya no van a querer hacer nada. Eh, porque creo que sería hasta después de la vacación de agosto. Entonces van a ser creo que casi dos semanas que no van a recibir clases y pues sí es importante que hagan algún repaso, aunque sea cinco minutos diarios, eh, que hagan algún tipo de ejercicio en inglés, ver una canción con las lyrics, karaoke o ver estos enlaces están bastante interesantes y recuerden que van avanzando hacia un um, avanzado nivel avanzado, ya irían a intermedio 3, entonces sí es muy importante que, eh, que siempre estén practicando, reforzando y pues nada, aquí terminaríamos ya con su con sus sesiones, recuérdense ponerse al día, eh, yo vi que la mayoría, casi que casi todos, solo eran como tres que no han llegado al mínimo eh, del 80, pues con lo de la plataforma Todavía está accesible la plataforma para que los que faltan aún de completar sus ejercicios y sus exámenes lo puedan hacer. Una eh, pregunta. ¿Y va, van a dar alguna nota o algo? Eh, fíjese que las, las notas eh, son el avance de la plataforma. Eh, no sé si sabe cómo verlo. Pues sí, ahí ya lo tengo completo todo. Uh -huh. Ese sería entonces. Ahí ah, les sale la nota por, por cada sección de los homework y igualmente ahí descargan su certificado, entiendo. ¿Verdad? Así que pues agradecerles su eh, tiempo, eh, su esfuerzo, su esmero, su um, participación y pues desearles la mejor de las suertes. Thank See you, teacher. You around. <laughs> Have a good night. To sleep well. And... Thank you, teacher. Y usted va a ser la misma que nos va a dar la otra vez, el otro modo. Um, I'm not sure. No estoy segura. Oh, Porque wow. a veces están cambiando y a veces se prefiere que la misma persona lleve como que la secuencia. Entonces, eh, es probable que sí, pero pues eh, de repente... De repente y no, no, no hay como que a veces solo estamos un mes o dos meses con el mismo grupo. A veces no te dejan hasta seis meses, pero si no, no, no todavía no lo podría saber. Ok, teacher. Good night. Okay, Thank you so much, teacher. It's a pleasure. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I appreciate it, teacher. Thank you so much. Bye.